A water-reducing admixture is an admixture that increases workability without increasing the water content of concrete, or that permits a decrease in water content without decreasing the slump. When used in a water reduce, as a water reducer, the water content is reduced while maintaining the slump. This reduces the water-cement ratio of the concrete and increases its strength and durability. When the same chemical is used as a plasticizer, the workability of, is increased while the water content is kept constant. This can improve the placing char characteristics of the concrete without adversely affecting the strength and durability. When used as a water reducer, normal range or conventional water reducers can reduce the water content by approximately 5% to 10%. Mid-range water reducers were first introduced in 1984 to bridge the gap between the normal range water reducers and high range water reducers. These admixtures provide significant water reduction between 6% and 12% for concretes with slumps of 125 millimeter to 200 millimeter or 5 inches to 8 inches without the retardation associated with high dosages of normal water reducers. High range water reducers can be used to impart properties induced by regular water reducers only much more efficiently. A water reduction of 12% to 40% can be obtained using these admixtures. The reduced water content and water cement ratio obtained with high range water reducers can produce concretes with 1. Ultimate compressive strengths in excess of 700 MPa or 10,000 PSI, 2. Increased early strength gain, 3. Reduced chloride ion penetration, and 4. Other beneficial properties associated with low water cement ratio concrete. When the same chemicals used for high range water reducers are used to make flowing concrete, they are often called superplastizers. Flowing concrete is a highly fluid but workable concrete that can be placed with little or no vibration or, com or compaction while still remaining essentially free of excessive bleeding or segregation. Applications where flowing concrete is used include thin, se thin section placements, areas of closely spaced and congested reinforced steel, tremie pipe wa underwater place, uh, placements, pumped concrete to reduce pump pressure, thereby increasing lift and distance capacity, areas where conventional consolidation methods are impractical or cannot be used, and for reducing handling costs. Water reducers function as cement dispersants primarily through electrostatic and steric repulsive forces. Acidic groups within the polymer neutral neutralize the surface charges on the cement particles. These groups bind to the positive ions on the cement particle surfaces. These ions attach the polymer and give the cement a slight negative charge as well as create a layer on the surface. This negative charge and layer of absorbed compounds create a combination of electrostatic and steric repuls repulsion forces between individual cement particles, dispersing them, thus releasing the water tied up in agglomerations and reducing the verosity, viscosity of the paste and concrete. The effect of the water reducer depends on the dosage level, sequence of addition, and molecular weight. The water reducer will also contribute to dispersion by repelling negatively charged aggregate particles and air entrained bubbles. The electrostatic repulsion for these materials is affected by dissolved ions and rapidly diminishes as the hydrating cement releases more ions into the mixture. Polycarboxylate derivatives are the newest generation of high-range water reducers and superplastizers. These polymers 
are comprised of a main carbon chain with carbo carboxylites, gr uh, carboxylite groups and polyethylene oxide, or PEO, side chains. The PEO side chains extend out from the cement particles and add the mechanism of steric hindrance to the typical electrostatic repulsion. As with typical superplastizers, the water reducer is dissolved in water and the polar chain is absorbed at the solid water interface. The long side chains physically help hold the cement grains apart, allowing water to totally surround the cement grains. The polar chain imparts a slight negative charge, causing the cement grains to repel one another. As the electrostatic repulsion dispersing effect wears off due to cement hydration, the long side chains still physically keep the cement dispersed. The PEO chains prevent particles from agglomerating through a physical separation great enough to allow fluid to flow between the particles. Because steric hindrance is a physical mechanism, it is not as sensitive to dissolved ions as an electrostatic repulsion mechanism. Concrete mixtures with polycarboxylate additions tend to retain fluidity for longer periods and they tend to require less water than concrete mixtures using other water reducers. Adding a water reducing admixture to concrete without also reducing the water content can produce a mixture with a higher slump. The rate of slump loss, however, is not reduced and in most cases is increased with the exception of polycarboxylate technology. Rapid slump loss results in reduced workability and less time to place concrete. An increase in strength is generally obtained with water reducing admixtures as the water cement ratio is reduced. For concretes of equal cement content, air content, and slump, the 28 day strength of water reduced concrete containing a water reducer can be 10% to 25% greater than concrete without the admixture. Water reducers decrease, increase, or have no effect, effect on bleeding depending on the chemical composition of the admixture. A sufficient reduction of bleeding can result with large reductions of water content. Tests have shown that, that some plastizers, some plastized concretes bleed more than control concretes of equal water cement ratio, but plastized concretes bleed significantly, significantly less than control concretes of equally high slump and higher water content. Despite reduction in water content, water reducing admixtures may cause increase, increases in drying shrinkage. Usually the effects of the water reducer on drying shrinkage is small when compared to other more significant factors that affect shrinkage cracking in concrete. Water reducers can be modified to give varying degrees of retardation, while others do not significantly affect the setting time. Type A water reducers can have little effect on setting time at their typical dosages, while Type D admixtures provide water reduction with retardation, and Type E admixtures provide water reduction with accelerated setting. Type D water reducing admixtures usually retard the setting time of concrete from 1 to 4 hours. Setting time may be accelerated or retarded based on each admixture's chemistry, dosage, dosage rate, and interaction with other admixtures and cementing materials in the concrete mixture. Some water reducing admixtures may also entrain some air in concrete. Lignin based admixtures can increase air contents by 1% to 2%. Concretes with water reducers generally have good air retention. Concretes with high range water reducers or plastized flowing concrete can have larger entrained air voids and higher void spacing factors than normal air entrained concrete. Air loss can also be significant 
when compared to concretes without high range water reducers held at constant water cement ratios. The effectiveness of water reducers on concrete is a function of their chemical composition, concrete temperature, cement com composition, and fineness, cement content, and the presence of other admixtures.